Now at the bottom. The button. Still in the quad. There's a good 10 inches. Let's see what kind it is. Nice eagle button. Oh, there it is. Not a bad first day with the uh, ATX so far. Eagle eye button, three ringers, all kind of button backs, brass. I don't know, sword hook maybe. S sword scabbard tip, sorted brass, buttons. Not bad, not bad. First time using the uh, ATX. That's a gun tool from the Civil War. I like that. Used it to work on their rifles. Got another potential mini ball here. See what it turns out to be. Can it 
Good signal down deep. Good sign. Down the hole, whatever it is. There it is, mini ball. Down about eight or nine inches deep. Well, this is Steve Moore and we've been digging this week out in Virginia. We still got another day to go here, but uh, so far it's been good. Got good finds, got some, uh, a lot of bullets, got some buttons. We've been of course testing the ATX this week and this is some of the worst ground you can test it in out here in Virginia. Constantly changing, big packets of minerals here and there, but ground balance as well, runs out here real smooth. Some situations you may have to stop and re-ground balance occasionally. That's really the only trick I've seen with it getting good depth, dug targets 12, 14 inches and better. I uh, got a little bit of brass, a lot of lead out here. Some of the guys we've been seeing that have been running ATX, they've been doing pretty well. We may try to catch a few of them here, get a little bit of video and maybe show what they found if they're willing to do that. But uh, all in all, real well. So I don't have any issues with this thing running up against the most ex expensive machines out there when it comes to pulse induction and where you need it. And that's in ground like this. So we're gonna get back at her and dig some more, but. So far, really good with the ATX, and we'll be back to you soon. My name's Dale Bright. I'm here in uh, Culpeper, Virginia at uh, Digging in Virginia 25 and uh, using the Garrett ATX pulse induction machine. The machine's running real stable for me. I uh, dug up quite a few deep targets, uh, got very little interference from EMI or from other detectors. I was hunting in pretty close proximity to some other PI machines and the machine ran very stable. Uh, the, if you include that with the mill spec uh, ruggedness of the machine, I think it's going to be a quality machine for relic hunters, nugget shooters, and anybody who wants to hunt the beach, anywhere where a pulse induction machine is going to come in handy. And I found these uh, cuff buttons, these little pieces, little buckle. One of these little uh, uh, cuff buttons was uh, about 13 to 14 inches deep in some very highly mineralized cold pepper soil. Yeah, my name is Rick Horsley and I've been using the, uh, the new Garrett ATX uh, here in Virginia at the Digging in Virginia hunts. Uh, pretty much used it uh, surface hunting exclusively on day one of the hunt number 24 and these are my finds from uh, 24. Uh, I really like the machine's um, capabilities. I, I did really well and uh, I'm hoping to get out here on 25 and do just as good but I've been doing a lot more trash huts and I uh, haven't got a lot of use on it this time but uh, hope to today and get out there and get some good finds with it. My name's Sam Bonner. I'm from Tennessee. I'm up here digging in Virginia this week. Got my new ATX Garrett here. These are some of my finds I've found. Machine does great. I've got buddies with uh, some uh, higher end detectors and I've been digging as deep as they have. Got plenty of buttons here, a lot of lead. Um, overall, the detector's great. I've had no issues with it. Um, battery life's all day long with uh, the four or the eight rechargeables that it comes with. Um, and uh, that's going to be my machine for uh, all my DIVs now and uh, it gets like I say as deep as all the other machines uh, balances real good in the clay and the red soil and I've uh, been digging a lot and enjoying it I'm Rusty Curry out here digging in Virginia uh, using the Garrett ATX dug uh, some buttons and some uh, odd and end stuff some brass got a lot of good bullets um, had some good depth, um, had, uh, had, had some great, uh, great response with the, with the new machine. It, uh, doing really good for us out here. Uh, 
ground mountain swell to this uh, this terrible soil out here. Um, uh, seen uh, all kinds of uh, good things brought up with it: bullets, buttons, uh, brass, J hooks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. A lot of good stuff left out here to find. Uh, my mission today is to get that breastplate. Mike Harvey from Moneyana, Alabama, here in nice, cool Virginia, doing some relic hunting with the ATX. Uh, what we've got here are some of the bullets that I found this week. Uh, got about 54 bullets along with some brass items, including the back off of a buckle. Uh, the ATX has been simple to use, uh, easy setup, and a real short learning curve on it. I recommend it to anybody. Uh, it's done real good here in this uh, type soil, and I'd put it against any machine out here. All right, so we're out here working DIV. Uh, Rusty got in some glass over here, so we came back and decided to dig it out, see if it was a hut or a fire pit. Looks like a fire pit. We've got a lot of broken glass, part of a whiskey bottle, uh, some burnt wood, brick, brick. And? And so far a button and a piece of lead. We're just getting into it, getting to working on it though. Uh, I'm hoping we'll get a few more beeps on it. We've got a AT Gold here with a discriminator on it, so once we get it up out of the ground, we can come through and uh, you know, tell iron from lead, from other good stuff like buttons. He found it with the ATX yesterday and uh, worked it a little bit and said we'd come back and dig it out thoroughly today. That's kind of where people are going today, looking for bottles, doing the deep digs. So we'll get back to you here in a minute and see what else we find. It's in pretty good shape though. Got the back on it still, still intact. I'm not gonna rub on it too much and mess it up, but it's got a nice loop on it. There's several targets that sound like iron, but this one's hitting 30s to 70s, so I'm thinking somewhere in this might be another good item. The soil's so hot that the pinpointer goes off immediately, so you have to hit it, retune it, and there's something that sounds a little better. So what I do is set my coil up like this so I can hear it, and I've got something in my hand. So I'll just work through the dirt until I figure out what I got. Okay, I've set it down. Here's the... All right, that's a square nail. Let me double check. Okay, that's all that was. Square nail goes in the pouch. Now I need to get down there and see if there's some other good stuff. There's gonna be square nails, all kind of stuff here. That's how I found the hole yesterday, was uh, digging iron with the ATX and at right after I dug a bullet. And so then I noticed the glass and I said, hey, I've just got to spread this out and check there's it out. Deep's all in it. So we come back and there we go. Got a button already. Then a little hut digging, DIV 24. Culpepper, Virginia. Got some broken glass here. Broken whiskey bottles, part of case gin. Here's the here's the base with the panel. Uh, says uh, Bremen. Not sure what it is. Several pieces of embossed glass, all bone and mold glass. A pile of bricks. A pile of bones. Ah, button number two, right there. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if it has a backing, but it's complete. I'm not gonna wipe on it and try to tell what it is, but you know, probably an eagle button, if I had to guess. Two buttons, uh, Confederate round ball, three ringers, some camp lead out of the hole so far. Uh, some whiskey bottles and pieces, and we're still working it. The morning is young. Oh, God. Did you get me on that one? 
<laughs> Whew, gotta love it. Digging in Virginia. Oh. Oh. Hope you weren't rolling film there. <laughs>